Hello everyone, welcome to Corporate Skiller. Imagine that your manager has given you an Excel file with daily sales and he has asked you to give a trend on a weekly sales data. Uh, we will see in our video how we can use Power BI in order to convert this daily sales into a weekly trend. Stay tuned till the end of the video to know more. So this is the Excel file which your, the manager has given to you. It has daily sales and uh, the idea is to use this daily sales to convert into weekly sales trend. Uh, we would be using this Excel and loading it into our Power BI to get that trend. Uh, just know that the dates have years 2022 and 23 as well. So let's move to the Power BI desktop now. Uh, as usual, we will get the data into the Power BI using the Excel workbook get data. The data is there in, Power, in the Excel sheet called PB2. Let's open it. The name of the called sheet one. Uh, we can see that there are other columns which do not have any data also loaded into our Excel file. Uh, we will use the transform data in order to remove those unwanted columns. Uh, we will go select, use shift and select all the columns. and then use the remove columns in order to remove all those columns. Now we have the data set with uh, the required data that is date and sales. Click on close and apply. Uh, the table has been loaded into the Power BI now. There are different ways of doing this that is to convert uh, the daily data into weekly data. Much of it uses measures but uh, it is uh, quite complicated to use those. Uh, we would be sticking to using col calculated column in order to do this. Uh, it is much simpler also. Uh, we would be using functions like year, week number and rank X in order to do that. So let's use uh, the new column here. Uh, we will be getting the year from the date column. So using year function, click on year function and uh, get the date column here. So you have got the year associated with each of the date. Now we will be using week number function. Uh, just note that we cannot uh, use the week number function directly there are reasons for that a uh, week number is associated with the with each month so if you have september 22 and january 23 uh, the week number associated with uh, september 22 would be higher compared to january 23 in this particular case what we need is we need a trend starting from a lower date and moving on to a higher date uh, so the months which are there in year 22 should be lower value compared to the months which are in year 23 uh, we would be using a combination of year and week number in order to sort the data in that particular manner uh, the first day or the lowest day should be associated with week number one and then it should move on in an ascending manner. So let's use the week number function. Uh, we will call it as week number. We, we might be using the week number column again in a different way. So week number, click on week number function and then select the column which is the date column. Click sheet one date and then click on enter uh, so as I have mentioned see September 22 is week number 38 
and 14th January is week number two. So we cannot use this data to sort our uh, sales. It will give wrong information. What we will be doing is we will be using a combination of week and year. How we will be doing that? Uh, I'll just showcase you this also. Click on new column. We will call it as sorting column and then we will use the year column multiply it with 100 and then add week number to it and click on enter <clears throat> so what we have done is we are using both uh, combination of uh, the year and week number in order to sort our data so September 13 September 22 now if you compare this number with this number 2302 and 2022 38 this number is higher as compared to this we will use this column in order to rank so the rank in an ascending order will give us the correct week number uh, so finally we will be using the rank x function we will call this week as week number again and then use rank x function uh, we have to use the table which is called sheet one here then expression uh, we have to choose the column which would be used for uh, ranking that is sorting column again we have to find that column then there would be no value we have to sort it in the ascending order and then we have to select dense so the idea of dense is uh, that uh, if there is a value 38 and 39 or 40 then it won't skip numbers in between or ranks in between so let's click on enter here so let's uh, again look at the same data so the 13th september 22 and 14th january 23 so the 13th september 22 is week number one and 14th january is week number 18 so we have successfully managed to get the correct week numbers now we have to represent the data in a visual format uh, for that we would be using uh, cluster column chart we will be using the sales data in column y in order to get the total sales we would be going here and uh, clicking on data label so that we get uh, values associated also uh, so it shows 75 million just to make sure that it is showcasing the same data go here and uh, do this so here also it shows 75 million so we are showcasing the correct data uh, now Mm, what we will do is uh, we will add the week number so the correct column is week number this one and we will be taking it and put it in the x axis so what we have done is we have successfully represented the daily data in the weekly manner this might be very helpful for the sales in order to understand the weekly trend of uh, the data flowing uh, we can also do com some kind of uh, formatting which we have shown in uh, different videos also uh, also we can use the same week number as a filter uh, somewhere here and uh, which will allow us to drill down into the week number i hope this video was helpful for you do subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos on power bi and excel also